I'm actually not too sure how I want to start this video, so I'm just gonna do a cringy ass YouTuber intro and hope for the best. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about being the butt of the joke. I hope you guys enjoyed that. In all seriousness, this video is going to be about the TikTok star, uh, Cut they board. I actually don't know his name. Uh, Montaigne? I think that's what his name was. I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, editor, which is just me. Anyways, yes, this video is about the TikTok influencer Montaigne, who is typically known for cutting vegetables and talking out of his ass half the time. I personally don't have anything against him. His content is whatever. It's just not meant for me, which I can completely understand. A lot of other people's interests and in forms of entertainment aren't paired to me myself as a YouTuber. But regardless. Uh, his videos are really fucking annoying. Unfortunately, as many great things, they are forced to come to an end. And whether you think this guy is the messiah or a spawn from Satan, we can all mutually admit that being the butt of the joke is no fun. In this situation, this guy's content has unfortunately came to bite him in the ass. The way that he makes content trying to be relatable and talk about advice or uh, fucking everything and anything, he kind of just rambles and yaps half the time, uh, it has unfortunately come back to bite him in the ass. What I mean by this is that he has tried too hard to sound relatable or cool and has now become TikTok's most hated fucking human being. If for some reason you aren't on TikTok and have not seen this infamous clip of Cut the Board, uh, I'm gonna play it real quick. You gotta be good for you ever be great and I know the hate comments only happen cause they boy. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Okay so I understand everyone has different accents, everyone in America is from a different part of America. But what the fuck, dude? I don't think I've ever heard anyone ever say bored in this fucking way. It's like those 13 year olds on the internet that try and be cool by saying gang or jit or fucking uh, bruh. Like, they need to shut the fuck up, including this guy, because you can clearly tell they're doing it to try and be cool and fucking hip as the, the old and old elders say in America, rather than just speaking how they normally speak as a normal human being in a normal day to day basis, they uh, try and sound like a hip hop rapper and end up making the world's cringiest fucking video that everybody mutually hates and unfortunately has downsended his career into the pit of hell. Now, I love toxicity. I think it's one of the best parts of the Internet. I think it's one of the funniest parts of the Internet, but this is probably one of the worst cases of toxicity and outright just hating people people that I've ever seen in probably dude since like I don't even remember a long time okay a long a very long time and I think recently as a whole the internet has just been like hating bro like uh, three examples that already stick out to me is cut a board uh, I show speed that showed his meat to uh, half a million fucking human beings and then Overwatch getting review bombed on Steam and somehow setting a record for being the most disliked game on Steam. Actually, fun fact about that, I no longer support Bungie as a company ever since they didn't like start doing the PvE shit. And I wanted to leave a review, but I had to install the game in order to leave a review. So I never left a review because I didn't want to install the fucking game. That is a true story. Okay, let me stop getting sidetracked on random ass bullshit. Cut a board or Montaigne. Um, has transcended into an internet-wide meme of Cuddy Board. Um, actually, if you go on TikTok right now and search up Cuddy Board, he comes up. That's how bad it's gotten. He is no longer Montaigne, he is Cuddy Board. And surprisingly, it's gotten even worse than that because if you go on any of his videos, the comments are just littered with Cuddy Board random ass funny bullshit. Most of the time, it's not even relating to the actual video. People are just saying it just to say it and just partake in the meme. Now, of course, we have seen this before where people have gotten their identity stolen by some stupid ass shit that they've said. Another big example is Catch Me Outside, the bad baby bitch. She's she's taken back her identity at least. She's bad baby. Uh, she's no longer Catch Me Outside girl. But for a very long time, she was Catch Me Outside girl. And I think that's what's happening with Cuddy Board. I think it's going to be really interesting seeing how he regains his identity, if he's going to lean more into it, which he kind of already has. Um, I'm going to play a quick video of him acknowledging the Cuddy Board meme. To all the men, and yes, it's almost 95% men that comment Cuddy Board on my videos, you comment that, you're a Cuddy Boy. You're my son. You're literally my son. You're my son. I had to stop the video. I, I can't I can't fucking take it. That's got to be a top 10 worst way to respond to something. Actually, no, it's got to be a top three worst way to respond to something, and it's not two or three. Now, before I end off this video, I want to quickly look at some of the comments that people have left because some of them genuinely are funny. I want to take this video, for example. Just a little word of advice for anyone out there who's still in denial about this. If you have to constantly ask them to post you on social media, it's turning into all these bigger fights. It's probably not the right person for you. I know the counter argument is, what if they just never post on social media? If you're dating someone who cares about it, 
One little post, not gonna kill you. A great, great word of advice. Okay, he's on to something. He he cracked the code. Um, but all all the comments. <laughs> Do you post cut a board on social media? It's definitely cut a board. Probably cut a board. <laughs> they just don't want to post cut a board. Dude, all of these, I mean, he he is he is he is taking it up the ass now i have to give credit where credit is due he is taking this ass fucking like an absolute trooper we might have a new riley reed on our hands i'm not sure if i was him and if i was me in this situation i would be crying myself to sleep every single night now i don't know if he's not i assume he might be but online he's taking it like an absolute trooper although i love seeing all the toxicity i think it's very funny and entertaining Hopefully this does all blow over very quickly for him because being the butt of the joke is not very fun and I know it could be very harming to someone's career and mental health. Regardless, that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see y'all in my next video.